Before we get going, last weekend in April and the first weekend in May, we are gonna have an awesome butchery class. It's gonna be yours truly, along with Jason and Sow the Land. All right, let's get right into it. Right now, the word of the day in so many different ways is preparedness. And in fact, it's kind of the tagline, especially of our pimp cast, the Permaculture Pimp Cast. You know that podcast you need to go subscribe to. By the way, it has a YouTube channel also. We talk about preparedness, permaculture and practical living. Maybe not in that order, but you generally, all three of them are really the same. Well, remember, we're going to start hitting that preparedness part of it because the truth of it is, long before I became the permaculture pimp daddy, I was first into preparedness and then realized that the two really do overlay with one another. All right, so in terms of that, if you want to know the consummate way to set up your bug out bag, go check out my man Bobby Spags at Spags Unfiltered where he does everything about a, a bug out bag and then in the future he's gonna have one, it's called a Spags bag, you wanna take a look at that. He's the one I go to for all things preparedness. So with that, let's get into it. Naturally, when you're setting up your bug out bag, you're gonna want something to eat. And for years, the go-to item has been this. You see that? That's an MRE, stands for meal ready to eat. And uh, you ask anybody that served in the military for any period of time, they will tell you that they are garbage and you hate them. So let's just look at the contents real quick. Okay, this one, if you're wondering why it's all messed up and it's been sitting in my truck box for a while, but it's designed to do that. Okay, so you got a sloppy Joe filling. Yum. And you got these, this is the one thing that's always cracked me up. I shouldn't say it in this video, but I'm going to do it anyway. There's a lot of really cool, interesting things that you can do with these. But what kills me is that when you read the instructions, and this is something the soldiers have been laughing about forever and a day, you get down to the bottom and they have all these high speed directions and then it says rock or something, like you lean it up against there. But anyway, here's your MRE heater. And this one you got, let's see here, oatmeal cookie. And I guarantee you that thing is going to taste like uh, sawdust. Honestly, bedding that you put down for your chickens. Peanut butter. Oh, cheese spread. You usually didn't used to get both back in the day. And then you get these crackers. And if you haven't had MRE crackers, I'm telling you what, right now, they will clog you up like the Lincoln Tunnel at rush hour. I promise you. Nobody can just eat those things. And you certain, there's an MRE cracker challenge. Go look that up. And of course, the orange drink, which almost no, nobody ever wants to drink. Okay. So typically, you go through these things. Now, keep in mind, your bug out bag... This is all going to be under that one packet, and of course you get a spoon with it all. Okay, the weight of it, yeah, you know, it is what it is. I can go ahead and eat this thing, but I really don't want to be clogged up like the Lincoln Tunnel at rush hour. But I can tell you right now, it's awful. I've eaten them all, so is everybody I know, they've eaten them all, and these things, just keep in mind, this was commissioned by the lowest bidder, okay? I remember years ago, there was a guy named Sergeant Singleton, and I was there when he literally stuck his spoon into the MRE and pulled out a chicken beak in the Emma and the uh, chicken garlic king. So that tells you how much they care about what's in those MREs. Sadly, this is what they give to our military, not this particular type, but you get the point. Now let's talk about some alternatives. If you find yourself in a position where you need to bug out, obviously you ain't sticking chickens in your bag and you're not gonna stick this beef stew we made last year in your bag, each of which weighs at least three pounds a piece and clearly is made of glass, so that ain't gonna make sense. We got two different alternatives that we go with because I'm telling you what, this ain't option A, B, C. This might be down to Q or Z even because these things are awful, there's no nutrition in them, and every single thing you read on there as far as what's in it, you, don't, you can't even pronounce the words. Now here's the meals we make, and these are the ones you can buy, okay? Now, right over here we got, now you know we're gonna be bugging out in style when you got risotto. <laughs> That's how you do it on the homestead, at least on this one. And then this one here is chicken and rice. Hands down, the stuff you make at home is gonna be perfectly suited to what your taste buds already love, okay? That's one of the disadvantages from the stuff you buy off the shelf, but the difference is, Yes, we have a Harvest Right freeze dryer. We even sell them, they're listed down below. This is option A in my book. Actually, these are option A. 
this is option B. And if I didn't have that freeze dryer, I'd do what I've been doing forever in a day and I'd buy this stuff off the shelf. Don't make this colossal mistake because I've done it and frankly, I'm a veteran at this sort of thing and these are mistakes I shouldn't have been making right off. Okay, these heavens, these, uh, excuse me, Harvest Right bags are fantastic. I don't even think there's a close second on the market. They're super thick, they keep the seal, they stay forever in the deck. But these are the ones I got out on the discount rack. So far I haven't sprung a leak in any of them, but it doesn't feel like the seal is anywhere near as tight as this. Which means I'm gonna wind up taking the stuff out of here and putting it into here, okay? These are all things we freeze dried at home. Now this is six pounds of ground beef, which I did myself, which is wonderful, it's great, but I like to put enough of oxygen absorbers in there where I know everything is out of this thing and it's gonna stay out of it for a very, very long time. No, no compromising. This thing will take a serious beating in your bag. This one here, I don't think so. This works good on the shelf, but not in your bag. I, I wouldn't even give it a shot because I can already tell you that that's about a third the thickness of what this is. So these are ideal. But look, if you got to go buy it off the shelf, I've tried tons and tons of Grant brands out there, and I mean tons of them. If it if it is freeze dried or even dehydrated. I promise you at some point in time, I either bought it at REI, Cabela's, or any of the big box stores out there, and I've never been really crazy about any of them. Mostly when you look on the package and then you can't, you, you can't even really identify what's in it. This one here came from Heaven's Harvest. Now, like I told you in the past, there is never gonna be a thing where an advertiser or somebody came to me and said, hey, will you, you advertise this stuff for? That won't happen. 100% of the time, whether it was EMP Shield, Harvest Right, whatever the case may be, every single time, I guarantee you, it was me going to them because they had something I thought was worthwhile and you might wanna know about. You know, obviously, I'm gonna go with the stuff I made because I know the flavor is absolutely on point, but this stuff ain't far behind, okay? You know what I really love more than anything is that when you look at the ingredients on here, it's just about every, there's only one word on here I might have trouble, you know, pronouncing. But generally, everything you see on there is real deal food. Now you wanna always make sure when you're bugging out or anything, obviously you don't want a regular salt shaker, but you do want salt and you want some pepper and clearly you wanna bring vitamins as well. Like I said, go back to Spags Unfiltered for all of that. Um, this stuff here is your next best choice. Homemade is always gonna be the best. So Heaven's Harvest is who I reached out to. Right here are the seeds, we'll cover that in a minute. And then right here is a 72 entree serving bucket. And every single thing in here, what I like about it, is that no matter what you pull out of here, it's got real ingredients. I mean real doggone ingredients. There's no fillers, there's no drink mixes like in the MRE. You buy a lot of these things. We bought them at Costco before and half of it is drink mixes. I kid you not. They even sell these on some of the shelves at like Sam's. Same thing, mostly drink mixes, mostly air, mostly garbage, and it tastes awful. Everything in here has real ingredients that you can pronounce, so that's good right off the bat. Because if you found yourself in a position where you even, even needed to bug out in the first place, well clearly you're not gonna be wanting to eat sawdust and you definitely ain't gonna be wanting to eat an MRE. I'll tell you what's really handy dandy about this is that you, you saw me do a video a while back where I demonstrated my own stupidity, where I didn't have my bug out bag with me in my truck, even though I was going an hour away from the house. Who cares, let's say things jumped off, EMP, whatever the case may be, I was, I felt so stupid and I felt the need to lay myself bare and give that video because I'm telling you what, there's a whole lot of other people, complacency knows everybody's number, okay? So that shocked me out of my complacency to realize here I am, broke down, I don't even have water, had to have William bring that to me. That ain't the way we're rolling no more. One thing I really love about this is that you can take these ready-made bags all set, ready to go, all it needs is water. And you can literally take these and put them in your family's bag. Let's say little Billy Bubba Jack Jim Jr. over here has his own little bug out bag. Well, you can slip this in there. Okay, Junior, you carry this if, if it comes down to it, okay? Um, and you'll have varying degrees of what who would carry and what. Like I said, go to the consummate expert on that and that's gonna be Spags Unfiltered. I got my way of doing it, but he's the one I go to for all advice concerning hardcore prepping, but this is a handy dandy thing to have. Now let's move on to the other thing that they sell and I'm not gonna endorse it yet until I try it. And now, one thing I really love about this one right off the bat and the reason they got my respect right out of the gates 
is that they didn't, and anybody that's ever watched us, whether in the podcast or otherwise, the thing I have been highly critical of are the people's out there saying, go buy these, em go buy these emergency or survival seeds. That's the big one right now. I intentionally steered clear from every one of those people because let's just put on a thinking cap for a minute. Let's say things jump off. Let's say the worst happens. Okay, so you got a, you got a bunch of seeds in a bucket you've never even tried before. So do you have enough food? Do you have a bunch of these to hold you up until these come around? Okay, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Plus, are those seeds even suitable? How many times are they gonna germinate? Well, these are the things I'm gonna try out. Like I said, this, I definitely stand behind. No two ways about it. This one here, I haven't yet examined, but I'm gonna take you for the ride as I do it because it has a bunch, and I love how it's packaged. It's sitting inside here. These are the packages they're sitting in, and they don't advertise them as survival seeds. They call them heirloom seeds, which is profound. So, when everybody else is out there talking about, hey, get your survival seeds, things jump off, you know, this is what you need. I'm not saying that's not the case in many cases, but don't sit here and tell folks, especially ones that don't know better, that you're gonna take these seeds and now you're gonna have a bumper crop and all your problems go away. I love the fact that they call them exactly what they are. They're heirloom seeds. And like I said, I'm, I'm already hopeful because if you have a product where I can understand and see everything on the label, I'll bet money that these are really good. They told me the germination rate is somewhere around 88% on these. Okay, I'm gonna trust but verify. So like I said, these, I'm still gonna figure that out, but I am willing to give them a shot. So let's just kind of recap here. All things bug out bag, go check out my man Bobby Spags. But of the food that I'm putting in that bug out bag, I got this, nope, these, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, I can see somebody just loading up their pockets, but they'd probably be in Chicago or something like that. You got these, which honestly, in my view, are the very, very best because they're also always suited to exactly the flavor I want, has exactly the salt, everything I want because we've already had it for dinner. And then right here, this is gonna be my plan B. So if you got the money or you save up the money like we did for a freeze dryer, this is the way I go. We, like I said, we got them down below. And this is also the new thing we're gonna have down below and I stand behind it because it has real stuff in it. And as a farmer, I do give that my highest endorsement, the fact that it's not 50,000 ingredients that I can't possibly pronounce. All right, if you need anything from us, check us out down below. You know, it's all there, the normal stuff, but now also this as well. Remember, if you go there and you buy any of this stuff, use promo code PERMA, P-E-R-M-A, that'll give you 10% off. But like I said, option A is gonna be the stuff you make at home but this is the most worthiest option B that I've seen out there in the market. All right, y'all, thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful weekend. Until next time, this is Billy from Permapastures Farm, where permaculture is my passion. You know what else is? Preparedness. We'll see you next time.